so time management, not gonna lie, it's hard, it's hard. But when you get it down, life becomes easier. So if it means you gotta put your time 10 minutes earlier and all the clocks around the house, then do it. If it means you have to write everything down multiple times in order for you to remember a time, do it. If it means you've gotta get mum or mate on the phone to call you to be like, yo, you need to be in this place in an hour, do it, get it done because time management is good. With time management, it's best to try and break down your tasks into smaller ones and try and put them into a to-do list or even a timetable. It's easy to get carried away with spending ages writing a to-do list, but my best advice would be to, to do this in your a spare few minutes, for example, if you're waiting for the bus or if you're on the bus, um, and just write down the tasks that you need to do. And then as soon as you're home, you can just get on with it. Time management is hugely important in my industry, so always leave yourself at least half an hour more than you think that you need. It's so much better and so much less stressful if you're arriving somewhere half an hour early or giving yourself half an hour extra for things to go wrong so that you're there and you're prepared and you're calm and you're ready to go rather than stressed and sweaty. I'm here in my own dressing room uh, in a film trailer on location in London uh, being ready uh, at any moment to be called to set and when it comes to time management Firstly, it's important to remember your time affects so many other people. So if you're late, it has a ripple effect. For me, if I was late today, uh, it would have meant that there would have been so many other people affected, crew, director, other actors, makeup, costume, producers. So everything matters when it comes to time management. When I get my call sheet for an acting job, it will say the specific times, and it's never just the shoot. Remember, it's all the things that come before. So it's being here at a certain time, which means not just being here, being picked up at a certain time, which means you need to be rested, you need to be sharp, you need to be ready for when they pick you up, to then be ready on call whenever you're needed. So my tips are always work backwards from the deadline. For you, it might not be a film shoot. For you, it might be the date of your exam or assessment. But work backwards, give yourself extra time for everything. And in that extra time, make sure everything's prepared the night before, but that you're well rested. Because when you're well rested and you're called upon, you want to be ready physically and mentally to go for something. So always, always, always work backwards, give yourself plenty of time to do things and do the hardest tasks first. So my tip for time management would be to look at the tasks you've got, uh, work out which ones you are actually interested in doing and if there's any that you sort of just need to get out of the way, um, do those ones first, get them out of the way as quick as possible and then you can move on to the tasks that might take longer or that you enjoy. So for example, in order to get this nice lemon Mr. Kipling cake, I have got to eat all this cucumber, this big pile. So, I could eat them one by one, but what would probably be better is see how many I can get here. And then I can have the Mr. Kipling. <laughs>